Aloha, beautiful pod. Unity Grace, Miracles in Cosmic Love, Star Nation. I've decided to add something new to my name, inspired by Miss Galactic Twin Race Streaming Love, who's added something new to her name. So I'm adding um, Dolphin Play to my name because it's such a great reminder to play. Yes. And we are here with special guest Goldie Love, who was on another Miraculous Love stream with we recently. And so we were dropping in today on Wedding Ceremony 10 and inviting all of we to wed with play on this day. So Goldie and we were having this great conversation. Yes. And I was like, we should start the love stream right now because Goldie is always filled with such, <laughs> such amazing sage wisdom. And so, yeah. okay, so what we were talking about, and I promised I would remind uh -huh. you, was you, you got up and you looked at the computer yesterday. We're talking about kind of um, the energies that people are navigating right now and how to assist people in that navigation so if this love stream is inspiring please share it that's called gifting yes. and you're talking about like should I go to the guitar store and all of that yeah can we, can we pick up on that okay, okay. so um, uh, had a, I had a, a beautiful walk yesterday for the full moon and uh, I was feeling very calm and everything was going you know things were ro rolling and the ball was just um, just going you know, feeling good, and and uh, we had a had a good night's sleep, and then woke up in the morning and felt like just something was just not right. The energy was just a little off, you know, and kind of off the bat, just felt um, just competing with myself on what I what I should do, and you know, and so. Uh, I already knew in my head I shouldn't get on the computer, so I got on the computer anyways. And <laughs> Did you hear what he just said? So note number one, listen to your inner guidance. <laughs> yes, definitely listen to your inner guidance. Especially yes. now. And um, so I was, I was trying to make the best that I could and, you know, I thought, you know, I would look up music stuff that wasn't working and it was taking me way longer to figure things out of, of equipment stuff that I wanted and so I went down the checklist of things that I should do today and I thought to myself should I go to the guitar center and buy something to make me feel better but and then I was like wait that's not gonna work because I'm just gonna get frustrated at the people working there because I'm not gonna understand Thing that they're trying to, you know, tell me cables and stuff to get. I'm just going to be totally out of it and frustrated. So I checked that one off my list. <laughs> I said, no, that's not going to Okay, so work. note number two. Right now, if you're navigating the energies, yes. listen to your inner guidance and follow it. Don't do the things your guidance is telling you not to do. And once you check off the list all the things that you're doing that are not bringing you joy, check them off the list as you go through them and stay away from them. Move towards joy. Move towards joy, definitely. So I, I started to get more, I just gave it some time and I, you know, I had like a, a rough moment there for about 30 minutes where I was just frustrating myself trying to, trying to figure out what I'm, you know, what's the best thing that I could do today to, uh, to just be happy and uh, not feel like like weights on my back for no reason and just um, just be the best that I know that I am, you know, smile and so um, I thought, should I go shopping? Should I go buy a shirt or something? And then I said, no, that's not going to work either. I'm not gonna want to go to the mall. That's not no. the right environment no. for me. Definitely to go to don't the mall. go to the mall these days. <laughs> Do not go to the mall with the astrology uh -huh. at play, even though the planets aren't that really, don't exist. The, a no no. Don't go to the mall. Okay. And there's a lot of signs there, and I don't like signs. And In the garden. Weird, yeah, and weird, um, weird point, people point directions there, and there's signs that tell you to go this way and that way. 
We don't do signs in Confused the garden. In <laughs> we do not do signs in the garden, spoken directly from Goldilocks. Yes. So, uh, I just thought about the worst things that could happen, and I was like, no, that's not going to go. <laughs> Okay, so next on the list, if you're trying to lift up your spirits right now, go through the list of the worst things that can possibly happen. Worst things that could possibly happen. And then happen. tell yourself those are not happening. Okay. So I just said, all right, I'm just going to go get me some some beautiful sun. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so go funny. to the beach for at least 30 minutes. It doesn't matter. 15 minutes, as long as you, I think, get up in the morning get some fresh air and you go for a walk I think you can't go wrong with that you know so I did that and I went for a skate for 30 minutes and then everything just just felt not so rushy racy so so slow down slow down that's another tip right now everyone slow down Miss Freedom said we love we so so Aww. much Goldie love we love we Freedom <laughs> And I love your voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so get fresh air. Yes. And um, what was the last thing we just said? We're giving a Go list. Go for a nice walk. Yeah. Yes. Get some exercise. Get your, just get your thoughts together. Um, and, you know, in some fresh air anywhere. Around the, around the corner. You know, as long as I, I've noticed that for me, that's been the best. To go around the corner? Anywhere outside when I wake up. Definitely. You know, just, you know, before you even talk to anybody and, or do anything like that. Or get on the computer. Or get on the computer, yes. Get fresh air before you get on the computer. Yes. <clears throat> Definitely. And no computer time before uh, bedtime either. <laughs> no computer time before bed. Come yeah. on, folks. This is spoken by a true sage. And you will have beautiful dreams. Beautiful yes. dreams. And so this is all part of today's um, love stream because we're doing 21 days of beautiful weddings in love with love. And we are marrying love together. We are taking the hand of another, be it a bird, a bee, a rock, a tree grass, our mother, our brother, our father, our lover, a seagull, our imagination, things inside of ourselves that we might not be comfortable with. Just this in love with love wedding ceremony of 21 days is to invite us to recognize the power of doing ceremony and creating altars to create our reality. And the power of doing sacred ceremony every day and creating altar with intention for what we want to create will truly manifest things into our reality very quickly. The field is very ripe and ready for um, the planting of our seeds to come to fruition very quickly. Yes. And um, we today we are marrying play because oh, yeah. play is the way. Experimenting with the brain and <laughs> playing is the way. Yes. Exactly. Because you never, you, you don't know what you might tap into. Exactly. So. Good. <laughs> and then that might, that might be your new favorite fun thing to do every Oops. weekend when you wake up. So we have look to get, forward to. We have to get rainbow ball. Rainbow ball look forward to you're gonna say and these are our new toys these are our and tools we've been just kind of looking forward to this every day <laughs> like I, I was I wake up some I wake up in the morning and I'm like oh I'm gonna play frisbee and play you know now I play with now I got my own ball and I rollerblade <laughs> and play ball too so <laughs> yes, he rollerblades. We'll post that video for you on Facebook to see that it's truly all about play yes. and that um, play ignites serotonin in the body, which helps to turn on all the chemistry in our body and to keep us riding the waves uh, that may be going through our body right now, even though planets aren't real and they don't exist. There are very big planetary shifts 
and everyone's life is transforming in such phenomenal ways and so these wedding ceremonies are about wedding in love together with another and today's wedding is with play mm -hmm. and the idea of wedding with another is to imbibe our small self at the altar that self that maybe got up and looked at the computer took you in all the wrong directions we are imbibing that part of ourself at the altar giving it back to source by taking the hand of another and instead of putting the mind first or the programs or the old behavioral patterns first, we're putting love back at the center. And in our wedding ceremonies, we're inspiring every day. Um, whatever might come up when we ask another to take our hand in this way, we get to see what might be holding our energy back from true joy and true love in our life because it's really just us holding our energy back that has us believe that we're gonna lose ourselves in someone or lose ourselves in another, lose ourselves in love if we open ourselves up energetically and give fully. And so today, our ceremony, and we invite all of we to join in this wedding ceremony and you can create beautiful altars. We're getting so many pictures and messages from people and our golden pod chat. Um, doing wedding ceremonies all day long and people having like super multi-dimensional experiences and realizing the wedding ceremonies every day are creating such something much bigger in our life, reminding us of the power of ceremony and altar to create our reality and invites synchronicity through the creation of the altar. So today we are yes. marrying play. We are marrying play. Yes. I like it. How, how are we going to show this to the Yeah, we Wee have Pod. this great game, and we did kind of show Wee Pod uh, <laughs> the other day. Um, Goldie just held the frisbee, and we threw it in like it was a hoop just uh, to have a little laugh with all of Wee and play. And um, But we have this really great game. Yeah. How, how are we going to show it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I should have brought the tripod. Here. Let's see if we can show. I'll set the camera on my jacket. Uh -huh. and I'll see if I can prop it up. And then we'll see if we can align it so that we pod can see the game that we like to play and wed with us all together. And if this love stream and idea of marriage and wedding is inspiring and uplifting and you want to try something new in your reality just to show them yes yeah okay. you could throw the frisbee uh -huh. okay. and <laughs> i'll throw the ball oh no you you throw the frisbee to me okay. that's how we play so the key is I got to make it in the hoop. All right, let's get this for you, wee pod. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Rainbow ball. Guys, I'm gonna get it in the in the wee hoop. <laughs> it's too low. A little higher. we have discovered is the creativity piece that Goldie was talking about when you get out and play with your friends and have fun is so much creativity and imagination starts to flow again and most importantly what flows is the serotonin mm. 
And when our serotonin is flowing properly in our beautiful bodies, ah, when our serotonin is flowing properly, we experience the joy of the transformation that is occurring on the planet right now in our reality. So, yes. should we do the background of the ocean one more time? Yeah. Okay. We, that sunset. We invite we all to join me right now in a wedding ceremony with play. Oops. Just take a moment inside of yourself to get ready to unify with play. So you want to hold those Goldie kind of like at the altar. I know what we could do. We'll have them walk up to the altar together. Okay, here we go. We're going into the wedding ceremony with play. Mary, play inside of yourself and liberate your consciousness to be joyful. So that is our beautiful ceremony today in our 21 days of wedding ceremonies together try it you'll like it and you'll discover that there's much more going on in the wedding ceremonies by creating ceremony and creating altar and putting love first at the center with everything in our life and remembering the sacredness of ceremony and altar to create our reality Together. Don't forget to play. First thing you do when you wake up in the morning is this play. We love we, we so love we. much. We love we world. We love we world. Yes. We love we golden pod. We just give you a little view of the ocean. Aloha.